Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video. And today I kind of really wanted to give some quick thoughts on how the Toy and Hasbro split has kind of almost been confirmed, if not by Toy themselves. Now, over the past couple of days, we've seen a lot of stuff with Zenkanja. We've seen a lot of things that have popped up um, with images, how you've got the um, like the other team are going to be kind of robots. Well, they are the, the mechanical life forms and stuff. Now, with this, I generally kind of think that after Rear Soldier or Dino Fury, we are not going to see it anymore. And it's only just because of how the characters are. Like, if you look at previous past seasons, and obviously in this image um, that we've got here from Wene, um, we can see that every single ranger has been humanoid. They have been like normal. They've never had robots as main characters. You know, everyone has been literally the same. There has never been a robot-esque type thing, but now they have. So even if Hasbro carried on and went all the way through some of the missing series, so some of the missing series we've got, the missing Sentais that we've not had adapted have been Torquja, Lupin versus Pateranger. Then we've got uh, Karashima. Obviously, that's just come out. But you also have. But then you've also got um, Zooja, um, the Space Sentai. I, I, I can never get his name right. But you've got those. So even if you carried on and then you got to this one, you wouldn't be able to adapt it. It's pretty much really hard to do that. Only because you have like you look at the fights you look at anything like that would be a lot harder to do and you'd be using a lot of super sentai footage even if you added a human element to it so you would run out and you'd have the characters together they would morph together and then you'd have this like the robot forms and then they'd have to transform again i think that you'd be looking at a lot more footage and a lot more uh, effort that they would have to do and i think hasbro would just turn around and say nope we're not doing this so i generally think that after dino fury we're not going to see power rangers adapt super sentai not because it's not too hard it's just that it's too different and especially that when you look at the main character himself he is not look he doesn't look like a ranger he looks more like a ranger stroke common rider hybrid together and we've seen this in the pictures where I don't think it would translate very well. Like that's the reason why we haven't seen like Go Ranger. We haven't seen anything pre Zeo mainly bar Super Mega Force that came out and showed some of the Rangers. But then again, that was a whole massive like meh. And apparently a lot of people didn't like the fact that they showed like Mass Man and Five Man and stuff like that. So I think that if you have this sort of character this is what we're not going to get this I, I think that they'd either skip over it which people would then be annoyed because if this is a really good sentai people are going to be like what huh what why are you skipping this i want this character and a lot of people are liking the design i like the design i like the fact that sentai are doing something different and i think that with this split it's not just that toy is going to go on their own and go like oh that's fine i think they've had a main thing where they can try something different for the past 45 years or 44 years it's always been um guys in suits girls in suits and that's it so when you've got a chance where you can walk away from a contract that you've had for almost 30 years like over 25 years where you can say hey the past seasons haven't been doing very well let's try something different let's try using uh, robot forms in robot suits rather than let's have different versions of this the main suit like what we've seen so like go kaija um kiri major and stuff like that i think that they can turn around and say do you know what we're going to try something different and we don't have to think about how hasbro is going to work with the others and you can clearly see it in this and especially since like the last time that we saw proper like I'm, I'm going to go with like the, the kid element. Last time I saw that sort of thing of like, yeah, cool, let's do this, was back in Die Ranger with when Tommy became the White Ranger, where you'd see him like jump up and down, which wasn't the element of what Tommy would be. So I generally think that Toye has kind of confirmed it, 
but not at the same time only because we've seen these new suits we've seen like the new designs and obviously when the footage comes out if he acts like a, a, a yeah cool all the time you can definitely tell that you know they've moved on so as i what i mean on that one is if in battle he's like oh like yeah cool jumping about like kicking and, and going for it in more things than any ranger i think that you'll get the confirmation there and then that super sentai and well toy and hasbro have split ways and thus therefore hasbro is going into their own way it just it, it just it just seems this would be the best way of doing it right now and it's more kind of like they're not going to wait they're not going to wait until hasbro finishes dino fury and goes yeah okay yeah now we're going to do it the japanese have just gone frick this we're now going to make what we want and it would be very interesting to see the sentai after this one as well because if this if senkanger works perfectly you're going to see maybe more of these things where you can have more robots now one thing that's just popped into my head is when someone says but in beast morphers they had the 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 buddies and you know they had like uh, uh crews and jacks and smash look how they didn't use that look how bulky at least smash and jacks were like they were very rarely used in the series itself compared to where you saw crews used mostly at, like all the time the others weren't now, another main thing in this is the fact that even though robots are really cool and people like them, they weren't marketed, like, they weren't in Beast Morphers a lot. And I think also that maybe some people, some kids don't like robots. So having a, a Power Ranger adaptation of Zenkaija would show quite a few things of, like, w would it be well perceived? Think of trains. Like, I always think that trains would have sold extremely well. Uh, like Tokyuja would have done really well in America and as well as the rest of the world because you know kids love trains but that's not the case in this one so I kind of think that if you can't adapt something like a very easy thing like Tokyuja or any of the other Sentais that have come out we're not going to see Zenkanja adapted and again I do think now it's been confirmed by Toei themselves that they've moved on from Hasbro so that article of from the Illuminati that you know we've talked about in depth how it's going around the entire whole like internet as this like i i think that when you see this they were right and they were spot on on this one but it's still kind of a theory that we'll get we're waiting for like i know a lot of people in this will wait for hasbro and wait for them to officially announce it because i think it will come up within next year i think it would do maybe near the end of the first season of dino fury because that's when they'll want to start adapting or talking about it um so roughly like when they last did their their press conference i think that we will see news about this in roughly like maybe february 23 2023 that's what i'm kind of going for roughly around about that time because beast morphers was roughly i think in like just coming up to season uh, end of season one so i think that roughly you'll see that when the end of season one of dino fury is going to be that's my kind of prediction that i'm going to give on this one if it's true happy days if not eh. but i do think now that maybe toy has confirmed that they have split with hasbro without telling us like an official statement that they've split with hasbro if that makes sense but yeah i'm gonna leave it there those are just kind of my thoughts off off the top of my head on this one um could be completely wrong could be completitely right we won't know until prof preferably around about february uh 22nd february time 2023 that's my kind of thoughts on this one so what are your thoughts do you think that zenkanger has actually confirmed or toy has confirmed that they are splitting with hasbro for the designs do you think that they can continue on and i will state this because a lot of people will say well you can still adapt uh, other series now if you look at Torquija on this one um like or even um zooja those suits and those monsters and stuff like that those suits are probably now like degraded we've seen in an interview that the 
the suits for Go Buster were really badly damaged and the, uh, the wear of time, etc., etc. Uh, so they had to repair a lot of them as well as the suits for the Rangers, which was a bit weird because you could think you could easily remake them, no problem. Other people do. Um, but I think now that if those suits are degraded, Hasbro's seen how much money it is to repair for Beast Morphers. So I think that we won't see those series. I think they will be lost for the rest of time, not unless they can easily remake the suits, get an easier way to remake the monsters, etc. etc. But I feel like if they're gonna adapt, I think you're gonna see at least um Kira Major, the Space Sentai. Uh, Lupin versus Pato Ranger, and I think that's that's literally going to be it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave that. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that I am right? Do you think that I am wrong? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.